Hello everyone. So the first round of unemployment weekly certifications has taken place for many of you who have reached your benefit year end and we have some problems. Actually a number of problems from pending payments, zero balances, website issues, questions on whether or not to click on that file a new claim link. So let's take a look at what's going on and what some of you might need to do. In the meantime, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future updates on this channel. And with that, let's get started. One of the biggest issues that many of our subscribers are reporting is seeing something like this. On Sunday, you went to certify, and even though you still have a remaining claim balance, you were only paid benefits for week one, while week two shows as pending. So what happened? In many cases like this one, you have reached your benefit year end date. What many people did not know is a few weeks ago, EDD broke the news and said, once you've reached your benefit year end, you needed to file for a new claim. Uh, almost no one expected to hear that news. The assumption was benefits were going to continue um, for those on extension. Uh, this is something that should have been communicated months and months ago from the EDD and never was. In a lot of cases, the EDD did not even give the option for those claimants who reached their benefit year end to file a new claim. This is something they should have seen when logging into their UI online account once they reach their benefit year end date, giving them the opportunity to reapply for unemployment benefits. So what ended up happening was people logged in on Sunday morning, filed for benefits as usual, only to come back later on to see this pending status. So the question is what to do next. If I was in that position, I would not be waiting for it to resolve itself. I would be calling EDD immediately to handle this issue. Why I tell people not to wait on this issue is because a lot of times issues like this aren't resolved automatically for some time. Many of you will remember in the earlier in the year with the reopen claim button issue, which was never fixed for most of you until you called into EDD, who in many cases were able to resolve the issue in less than two minutes. The calling into EDD is truly not that easy. I think a lot of people know that, but I have spoken to a number of EDD claimants who are subscribers to this channel who have called EDD and have gotten actually a hold of them. So I do see a trend in which number to call and the best time of the day to call. So I will talk about that a little later in this video. The second issue people are reporting is while you're still within your benefit year, you are still seeing a zero balance like this and asking, why have I not received the newest extension? That is because the EDD is still updating those zero balances with the new extension that was just passed by Congress earlier in March. These updates are being done in batches because the EDD computer systems cannot simply update all of these claimants' balances at the same time. What I've been telling people is I expect these balances to remain at zero until the next time they have to log in and certify again for benefits. I say that because that is exactly what happened last time with the last round of uh, extension benefits. Another issue for those who have reached the end of their benefit year is they are logging into their UI online account to see this message about reapplying for benefits. Uh, some of you are hesitant to reapply, and I do understand that. But unless you're on a PUA claim, I am advising people that based off what we have seen from the EDD, they in fact need to reapply for benefits once they reach that benefit year end date. If you don't do so, you are potentially looking at delays in paying out for future benefits. Uh, there is also some confusion online with people saying PEUC claimants don't have to do this. And I don't agree with that. If PEUC claimants did not have to do that, there would be language in this message that would advise them not to do so, just like those PUA claimants. Also, this part of an EDD press release that talks about PEUC claims and reapplying for benefits in the same paragraph. So for PEUC claimants, EDD is going to look and see whether or not you're going to stay on a extension claim or if you're gonna be moved back to a regular UI claim. Now, I believe a majority, in fact, will stay on a PEUC claim for the duration of the extension. 
Now, if you have reached your benefit year end date and are not seeing something like this when logging into your UI online account, then once again, I'm going to suggest to you that you call into EDD and start the process of filing a new claim unless you're a PUA claimant. One thing I'm telling people not to do is going to the EDD website and trying to create a new user profile so that you can open a new claim that way. Uh, please don't try that. Actually, it should not work since your personal information is already linked to your original UI online account. What is causing confusion for a lot of PEUC claimants is this line item in the most recent press release from EDD that states additional weeks of benefits will be available by April 30th. Now, there are a lot of people online commenting saying that uh, no PEUC claimant will receive benefits until April 30th, 2021. In one of my previous videos, I said I disagreed with that statement. I said I believe that to be EDD self-imposed deadline in terms of updating all claim balances. Uh, remember these extension balances, uh, they're being updated in batches and those people who have reached a zero balance first, you're going to be the first ones who see this updated extension balance. So for example, a PEUC claimant like this one here, who still has a benefit balance that takes them actually into April, uh, the EDD is not going to update their balance right away because they are okay in the meantime. Their benefit balance is good and they are well within their benefit year. The priority is going to those with a zero balance first and those who are going to hit a zero balance as the weeks progress. Now, another problem people were reporting was the EDD website going down when they were attempting to recertify for benefits. One workaround for that was using the mobile version of UI online to get their certification done. And another way was calling into EDD's automated phone system called Telesert. I'm going to include information on Telesert in the description box below. So what is the best EDD number to call? Uh, based on feedback from a lot of our subscribers, this number here, 1-800-300-5616, is the best number to call with the highest success rate among our subscribers. Now, the best time of the day to call among our subscribers was between the hours of 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., particularly between 1 to 1.30 p.m. Calling during this time by far had the highest success rate in getting into the EDD phone queue, followed by calls placed after 4 p.m. Now, obviously, I can't guarantee you will actually get a hold of somebody during that time frame, but I definitely thought I would throw that out there based on the feedback that I had received in, uh, in the hopes that it would work for some of you. Please let me know in the comments below if it does work for you or if there's another time in the day that works better for you, that you're actually able to reach a representative for assistance. Now, we really just touched the surface when it comes to these most recent EDD problems. We're going to keep monitoring the situation and providing updates as they become available. In the meantime, please let us know your situation in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel for future updates. And we will talk